Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters in Islam. I hope you are well. I want to make a note about the current situation happening in the world today. I'm sure everyone has seen it in the news where five people have been missing. They went in a submersible where they were exploring the shipwreck of the Titanic. It was supposed to last a few hours, but it's been three days running out and they are missing. At the, cur- at the moment, all of the world is looking for them. And I could not help but realize that this is the manifestation of the Adis of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, where he says, if all of the world were to come together to benefit you, they will not be able to do so except for that which Allah has willed. And if all of the world were to come together to harm you, they will not be able to do so except for that which Allah has willed. All of the world right now is searching for these people, the US Navy, the US Coast Guard, the Canadian Air Armed Forces, the Canadian Coast Guard, the French. They are all pulling resources, experts, technology, the best man has to offer. They are trying their very best to see these people, to search for these people, to find these people who seemingly have been lost in the vast ocean. But there has been no breakthrough so far. This is a sign, dear brothers and sisters in Islam, for all who believe to understand we are not the masters of our faith. Money will not be able to help you. And if the world were to come together to benefit you, they will not be able to do so except for that which Allah has willed. The words of our Prophet indeed is true. I pray and I hope that they do find them safe and sound. But this is once again a sign for those who think, those who reason to ponder about. And let us remember where we came from. And let us remember that we are not the masters of our fate. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.